So let us discuss domain and range for the linear function or the straight line. But before we do that, let us define domain and range. So domain is all the possible input values or x values of a function. And the range is all the possible output values or y values of a function. So the domain of a linear function is all the possible x values for that function. And what you want to do is focus on the x axis in that function. And we know if we move the x axis towards the left, we can get to negative infinity. And if we move towards the right, we go positive and move towards positive infinity. So if I imagine that I have a vertical line starting from negative infinity and I move that vertical line on the x-axis, I can see that that vertical line at a negative infinity would cross or touch the straight line. So I move from left to right and I can see that that line would always cross the linear graph or the straight line graph. That means that the domain exists for all possible values of x, for every real number of x. Or we can say that the domain is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Now for the range of the function, I'll focus on the y-axis. And I'll start from negative infinity and move a line horizontally all the way to positive infinity. Now remember, these arrows mean that this line continues indefinitely or forever towards the left and towards the right. So if I start from negative infinity on the y-axis and I move a line all the way up, I can see that the straight line would exist at negative infinity. And I continue to move that up and I would see that this straight line is still touching or crossing that horizontal line. So it will always touch. It will exist for every value on the y-axis. There is a value on the straight line. So therefore, the linear function has a range for all possible values of y. Or we could say from negative infinity up until positive infinity.